Hey all, welcome to this particular video where I'm going to talk about a very very important concept which is something which everybody of you should know it. In all my webinars and wherever I talk, wherever I speak, I say just one simple thing. That prosperity is a birthright of every individual. And if you're not prosperous, if you're not uh, you know, successful into your life, this is something which you need to understand what I'm going to share today in this particular video. As I'm doing this live, so in case you're watching me live, just say uh, hi in the comment box so that I know you're here. And if you're even if you're watching it a recorded, uh, uh, you know, recorded session, just leave your uh, you know comments below this particular video that how you're experiencing everything. Now, I want to talk about very very clear two things about uh, you know life and success and everything. One is prosperity is a birthright of every individual human being and I'm talking specifically about human beings because we are the highest form of the God's creation because uh, like animals yes we can hear we can smell we can taste we can do everything but we have got more things more more much better things than any kind of animal which is our beautiful mind so let's begin when you are a you are a baby when you were born in this particular world, you were born as a free person. You were born rich. Because when you were born till the age of 3 or 4 years of time, whatever conditioning you were getting from your family, from your parents, from your environment, you are simply absorbing that. You are simply absorbing that. And once you start reaching to 5, 6, 7 years of age, you start thinking. You start to apply the second part of your mind which is your thinking mind. So there are two parts of your mind. One is called the emotional part which is your subconscious mind and one is called your thinking mind which is the conscious mind to it. You don't use your conscious mind when you are a kid. You take risk. You are a risk taker. You were born risk taker. Please understand, when you were born in this universe, you were a risk taker. You were free. You were spirited. You can achieve anything. You were born rich. But the moment you start applying your conscious mind, you start applying thinking, you were applying the thinking what you got from your environment. You got from your parents that uh, you should do this, you can do this, you can't do this. You, you inherit all those things. You start inheriting all those notions what have been given to you. To counter this that uh, you know, you are right or wrong, I will just counter this up. Suppose you were born in India. Uh, at the age of two, two and a half, three years of age, you move to China or you move to any other country, to Nigeria, wherever it is. At the age of 15, when, when I meet you again, you have not been Indian. You would be a better professional Chinese speaking individual. How? Because of the conditioning you got over a period of those years. So let's understand how the mind behaves and why prosperity you keep on losing and why you keep on failing in your life. When you were born, you have only one mind which is an emotional mind, your subconscious mind. You are not able to think. A baby cannot differentiate between a man and a woman. We cannot make a difference. We can make a difference. Baby grows up and makes a difference. This is a man, this is a woman. But a baby cannot differentiate between a man and a woman because whatever is getting in, it's, it's all coming into subconscious mind directly. So, if at that point in time you were born free, that point in time you were free spirit, you were born rich, how come you are not rich right now? What's going to happen with you? As you start thinking, as you start applying your mind, as you grow older and older and older, you pick up your environment, you pick up the outside world, you pick up what you can see, what you can hear, what you can smell, what you can you know, mimic about everybody, you keep on copying that and that's what 96% of people do. 96% of people follow a herd mentality. They do what they see other people are doing. They don't apply their mind. They don't think. They don't want to think. They don't want to get out of the comfort zone they are living in. For example, most of the people today don't love their jobs. But they still do. They still wake up every Monday morning. They struggle with themselves. They take their scooty or car or take a metro and reach to their offices. They don't like their job. They don't even doing a job what professional degree they are holding on. But they are still doing a job. They don't like it. Many people don't like their partners. 
they are still holding on because they are habitual they are getting that comfort zone that is a problem you know today in this digital era digital world you can do many things many many things you can do you can do many many things which can give you 10 times what you are earning right now will you do it okay for example you think yes you want to do it. you got an idea that i want to uh, say start a youtube channel i know youtubers are earning so much money every single month i am going to dedicate and i want to open a youtube channel you got an idea now because your conditioning is not about youtube channel your conditioning is not about earning money your conditioning is just about earning 20 30 40000 or 50000 a month how come your idea of giving you 10 lakh rupees a month or 5 lakh rupees a month is going to work your conditioning was to earn 50000 rupees a month through the job so there is a terror barrier the moment you start seeding this into your emotional mind your emotional mind will start getting into fear how will i do it youtube is not simple thousand subscribers 4000 watcher then only the adsense will start moving in how much i will get from adsense 5 dollars a month 6 dollars a month how i am going to make up 50000 even we doing this activity you come in a negative zone you come in a conflict zone and then you go you go back to your comfort zone you say hey i am still getting 50000 let me earn that i don't want to lose that you don't take risk similarly you got an idea that okay fine let's uh, let's start e-commerce business let's start e-commerce you know e-commerce can give you 10 times what you are earning right now you do it you start doing it you start you start seeding this idea into your mind and then suddenly the fear thoughts start coming into your mind oh if i get fail there's so much of competition how will i make it happen nobody knows me i don't know how to sell the items how to procure the items how to really make a business out of this thing what's going to happen for you you will again go back to the zone where you were in 2000 rupees because that's a comfort zone you set for yourself you keep setting a comfort zone for yourself you keep setting a comfort zone for yourself and every single time you keep failing 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 even so how to how to break the terror barrier how to break the terror barrier just imagine yourself as a baby that whatever you are earn whatever you are getting from the environment you are you are seeding it down so your environment should be conducive to what you want your environment should be the one where you want to go your environment should be the the one which can take you near to your goals not to take you away from the goals and for that to break the terror barrier to break to break that conditioning that your subconscious mind says you cannot do it to the one you can do it and you have to do it and you will do it and you will succeed you need knowledge you need understanding you need some bit of help why do you worry why do you take help why do you find people who can teach you why do you find find people whom you can uh, replicate whom you can really uh, connect with and see what they are doing and what you can also do and what you can also implement and what you should be doing it to reach to that particular point you have to break the terror barrier you need to understand you need to visualize i can do it you need to intuit you need to you need to use your intuition you need to use your perception you can do it you have to have that faith you have to have that belief you can do it and that can only and only come if you start understanding if you start taking knowledge why people fail every time you know you can do better you have much much better potential than what you are doing today you know it internally you know you can do better you see a lot of people who are less educated but earning millions you see lot of people having n number of degrees into 10 masters they have done they are broke they are poor why this happens what is that different that other person is doing to earning earning millions and this person is doing and this person has had hundreds of degrees to him still he is broke what is that 
ask yourself this question you know the answers because of the conditioning you were conditioned in such an environment you you have a you you made a box of yourself you made a box around yourself that you can only do this much you put a tag when you go to a job you get a tag you are a 50000 salary guy you are a 20000 salary guy you are a 25000 salary guy you are just a manager a just assistant manager you don't ever think to reach to a point where you can become a vp you can become a general manager or something like that no. you don't even think about it when you don't think about it nothing nothing you can attract to your life you don't think you will not never attract it's like law of attraction also follows you want to become something you just start uh, attracting that towards you just start thinking about just start visualizing that start looking that in reality that's that's going to happen for me i can do it so to break the terror barrier you need knowledge you need understanding you need faith you need a belief system you need a help take it because your outside environment is what you can see smell hear touch taste that should not define your success your success should be defined from the inside environment what are your potentials what are your perceptions what is your self image what is that you can you can do how much how much risk you can take babies can take risk any number of risks they can take they take risk whenever they are growing up you take a lot of care of them they take risk they are free spirited they run the joy they play they don't fear about any single thing they just are free spirited individual they are born rich you are born rich but right now you are not rich you forget to become rich you condition you 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 influence the outside environment to your own life and today you are struggling stop struggling understand one basic thing you need to break the terror barrier you have an idea you have an idea implement that idea welcome vibha you have an idea implement that idea don't let your conditioning take away that idea from you break that get out of the terror barrier start learning start getting understanding start getting knowledge of what you want to do where you want to achieve follow people take help you can you can break this barrier otherwise be happy with whatever you are doing 20 30 40 000 rupees a month just be happy with that you will never be able to come out unless and until you break this terror barrier even if you know that you can do it you are your teacher fine great you are a teacher how do you want to teach you just want to stick to your school getting that or you want to really move out and do much much more than that you can inspire millions you can inspire millions you know it all you know how teachers are doing it you can simply go ahead start understanding how how digital thing works on how digital teaching works on why didn't you go out in the world and say hey i'm here and i can teach you this and i'm going to do i'm going to do this for you and just see me see me blossoming see that you know blossom happening in me and you will realize sooner your reach is 100 times more than what you were doing earlier i'm not saying stop that and do it but i'm saying that you can do it that's a decision you need to take whatever your skills are take that learning take it to the world help people take help help people take knowledge take understanding don't let those those old bad habits I'll, I'll call it a habit because these are all habits. The, the the time you get up, the way you conduct yourself, the way you speak, the way you walk, uh, the way you teach your students, the way you teach your kids, the way you conduct with your partner, the way you conduct your business, the way you do your job, the time you take your coffee and tea. These are all habits. Habits can make you or break you. What are the habits right now? What you have? Are they giving enough money? What you want into your life? Are these habits what you are uh, you know having right now? Is there is there are these habits giving the success? If not, you have to change them, and you have to break that terror barrier. All you need is to use your perception, your intellect, your visualization. You need to keep the faith, to have the belief, take the understanding, get the entire knowledge, 
and see how the things are working for you. It's going to like drastically change everything for you. Like this, like this, like this. You have to step up. So I hope you like this uh, particular video. I hope I'm able to give you some kind of information. And I wanted to stay learn it because there's no, uh, there's now no such thing you don't need to learn. There's no such thing that you have already learned this, so you don't need it again. No, it's not that. Either you are learning or not learning. The two things. Do. Either you are learning or not learning. And if you are not learning, you are already dying. You are already living in the backward. You are already moving to the backward direction. You are not learning. You are already dying. That's the message from my side uh, to all of you folks. I hope I am able to give you some deeper meaning, some deeper understanding. Use this. Use this to your life. It's going to really help you. It's really going to make you a better person, a rich person, a successful person, person whom you ever dreamt of. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care. And God bless.